come back. The topic of this video is production factors affecting yield and the quality of horticultural crops. In modern horticulture, all production factors aim at ensuring the largest yield, highest quality, earliness of production, and longest post-harvest life during marketing. There are many production factors can influence the yield and the quality of horticultural crops. The simplest classification of production factors classify them to three groups. They are the first group is genetic factors. The second group is climatic factors. The third group is the cultural factors. Before going through those factors, I must emphasize the following. Production factors in real life feel the situation, often interact in complex ways that depend on the situation and explanations of the results of those interactions on quality and yield need detailed field analysis and interpretations and are beyond the simple textbook knowledge or classical scientific research or even long-term field experience. Now, I will discuss briefly the three groups of production factors. The first group of production factors is the genetic factors. There are wide cultivar and rootstock genotype variations, such as plant size, susceptibility to pests, disease resistance, productivity, ripening date, produce composition, morphological characteristics, and post-harvest life potential, as well as suitability for intended end use, such as fresh consumption, processing, or even dual or multi-purposes. Each produce type and the cultivar has a particular climatic and cultural requirements. These requirements can be restrictive factors to the success of this type or cultivar, but this restriction can be reduced by artificial manipulation with modern technologies at an additional cost. Some examples for the intercultivar variations, three examples. The first one is produce firmness at harvest and the softening pattern, which is an important factor in determining shipping ability and robust harvest life. The second example is the nutritional and health qualities of produce, such as vitamins and antioxidants, which vary greatly according to cultivar. The last example is the post-harvest life, and in this regard, the evaluation for, for the produce shelf life based on appearance quality and shelf life based on taste quality is important to determine the long-term marketability of the cultivar. Therefore, choosing the correct cultivar or root stock for a giving production situation will have a significant effect on the profitability of your business. The second group of production factors is the climatic factors. These include sun radiation or light, day length, temperature, rainfall, relative humidity, wind speed and direction, pollutants, carbon dioxide concentration, etc. Climatic factors can influence the sweetness, 
the sourness and the vitamin and pigment contents of the fresh produce. For example, fruits on the parts of trees which are constantly exposed to sunlight had a thinner skin, smaller size, lower juice content, lower acidity level, increased susceptibility to fruit cracking and splitting, but have a higher total soluble solids and higher susceptibility to shelling injury damage during cold storage. Another example is the day length, which is the number of hours of light in each 24 hour cycle. This determines the suitable cultivar which may require certain day length to flower or to mature correctly and to have a good post harvest life characteristics. Now we came to the third group of production factors which is the cultural factors. Cultural factors such as soil type, soil preparation, water and nutrient supply, I mean irrigation and fertilization, planting date, planting density, pre-harvest infection with microorganisms and other pests, pruning, crop load, use of agricultural chemicals such as growth regulators and maturity stage at harvest and harvesting method. We will take two examples. The first example is regarding irrigation. Severe water stress due to irrigation deficit reduces yield and quality. Mild water stress reduces yield but may improve quality and no water stress will increase yield but may reduce quality and in this point the water content of the commodity or produce will generally behave as the following commodities which have higher water content have poorer storage characteristics the second example we will give in the cultural factors is the fertilization. Deficiencies, excesses or imbalances of mineral elements in the fertilization program will result in reduced yield and quality and increased physiological disorders that can limit the marketability and profitability of many fresh fruits, vegetables, and ornamentals. As a detailed example, let's take nitrogen. Increased nitrogen fertilization will stimulate the vegetative growth, but reduce flowering and yield. Also, it will stimulate diseases because of the excessive shading. Also delays ripening and reduces fruit sugar content. On the other hand, reduced nitrogen fertilization will result in small fruit, low yield, poor flavor. Finally, because yield and quality of fresh produce can only be maintained but not improved after harvest, there is a great potential and a high priority for solving a lot of current production and post-harvest problems in horticultural crops produced in developing countries by understanding the effects of production factors on yield and quality and then by manipulating these factors in our advantages to optimize their impacts to increase yield, improve quality, and prolong post-harvest life of fresh produce. That's all for this video.
See you again soon.